Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. It's early Saturday morning and after all the anticipation and everything that we had regarding Mr. Harry going into the competition, the newsletter came out yesterday. I saw it yesterday evening and there was no sign of Mr. Harry. Bearing in mind you get first, second and third place, followed by all the other entries, and Mr. Harry wasn't there. So, a couple of communications this morning via emails, and it looks like it was just lost. So it didn't get into the competition. So we'll never know. I'm quite disappointed, actually, because if you take on a job like that, you need to do it right. You know irrespective of the fact that it's a volunteer, you still need to get it right. You know, it's not that difficult, quite honestly, <laughs> you know. As the emails come in with the photos attached, you download them into a set folder for the specific month that you're working on. That, that's it. It's as simple as that. And I really don't know when, what went wrong, because, I mean, the guy who's doing this is a great guy and everything. He even responded, when I sent the email in with a picture, he even replied and said, a nice one, Roger. And bearing in mind, as far as I know, he holds the National Collection of Dendrobiums, he would know, which makes it even more disappointing. <laughs> anyway, so the results are, we'll never know. And um, I've been asked to do a write-up on how I look after this, because the guy who actually puts the newsletter together said there's no way he would have forgotten it because this is a difficult orchid to grow and he hadn't, he didn't remember seeing as many blooms. So, you know, <laughs> anyway, we shall see. Maybe next year, you know, problem, I mean, you know, if it happens next year, I'm sure I'll be taking it to a meeting rather than uh, just a photo. So, so the results of your vote and everything were that this is the one I chose to go in over the other three and um, it got lost. So, so that's it. Um, and in the next newsletter, you know, I'll, I'll probably take a couple more pictures um, and include the one that should have gone in to the competition. And um, I'll get a, an entry in the newsletter specifically on this plant. Um, obviously, it won't go into the competition because it's not the right month. I suspect this month's entry is going to be this. Well, honestly, I can't see how it can be anything else. So we don't need a vote this time. <laughs> it's just going to be that, isn't it? And now that the last major set of buds have just opened, the difference in the colour. As, as they age, they darken quite considerably. So I'll probably give this um, a little bit longer to allow these to sort of blend in a little bit more colour-wise. And I'll do some subtle rearranging of canes to make sure as many blooms are on show as possible. And I will be able to get a photo of the whole thing. So we can do the whole plant, you know, as opposed to a close-up of a few blooms, which would make a good photo. But this time round, I think the whole plant needs to be there. I probably won't be able to get the top bit in. <laughs> and if I, if I bring those um, older canes downwards, because... Um, Forget who it was. My, uh, uh, forgotten. But somebody suggested weighing them down like I do with the Vander spikes, you know, to actually get them to arch over <laughs> so that they're in the right place for next year. Which is a good idea, actually. I might actually get round to it. But um, I wouldn't want them down here now for that photo because they'd, they'd be in the way. Um, so we'll, we'll, but we'll work on that. But I think this will be um, this will be the next entry. So uh, we'll get that in a. And a good bit of light, um, try and get the black cloth up behind it somehow. <laughs> it's going to be really fiddly trying to photograph it because I've got to get far enough back to be able to do it, you know, and still get the majority of it in and, and all the blooms will have to be sharp. If I'm going to take the whole plant, I can't have any depth of field problems or it will just ruin it. So, yeah. Anyway, so uh, just a quick update on Mr. Harry's demise. Um, as I say, I'm sure it wasn't done on purpose, and, and things do go wrong. Accidents happen. There's life. You just have to sort of put up with it. But, um, you know, again, like when this one got its award at Malvern last year, it was a one-off. It's never going to happen again, and that may well be the case for this. That might have been its best blooming ever. 
and it'll never achieve that good, you know, as good a result ever again. But the opportunity's missed, that's, that's all I can say. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.